Hey, I'm Chris Troy, host of St. Clair County Risa's Moment in History. And I'm here in front of the original home of one of Port Huron's most distinguished mayors, Postmaster General, and newspaper publisher, Nathan Boynton. Born June 23, 1837 in Port Huron, Nathan was the son of Granville and Francis Boynton. Nathan was educated in the town of Joaquin, Illinois, where he earned his reputation of being old for his age while constantly earning a spot on the headmaster's list of his school. Due to Boynton's ability to learn quickly, he was encouraged to study medicine at the Eclectic Medical Institute in Cincinnati in 1852. It was here that he met his wife, Anna Fideli. The two married and over the next eight years would have five children. In 1863, the Civil War erupted. During the war, Nathan served as a member of the 8th Michigan Cavalry, where he rose through the ranks from private to major. As a lieutenant with a detachment of 100 men, he cut off the retreat and accepted surrender of Confederate John Morgan after his devastating raid through Kentucky, Indiana, and Ohio. He also served under Burnside in the campaign of the East Tennessee and was one of the first units to march into Atlanta alongside of General Sherman. Following the Civil War, Boynton returned to Port Huron, where he served as a postmaster, newspaper publisher, and in 1870 became Port Huron's mayor. Performing experiments in the family's basement, Boynton was also an inventor who held patents to the firefighting industry. Boynton also founded the Order of the Maccabees, a national social fraternity that served as a form of life insurance, holding meetings here in this home until the completion of their Grand Maccabees building downtown. In 1897, due to failing health, Boynton visited South Florida to seek a warmer climate. Boynton purchased land along the beachfront from William S. Linton and built the Boynton Hotel, later called the Boynton Beach Hotel. In 1898, the town associated west of the hotel was named for Major Boynton. The town was then incorporated in 1920. On May 27, 1911, Major Nathan Boynton died in his home in Port Huron, leaving behind a great legacy from a great man. For Moment in History Extra, I am Chris Troy, reminding you that history lives in all of us.